I'm just going to do a piece for you. And as we know, the theme of today is I will soar. And I don't know where you are at the moment in life. And I don't know what you've come into the new year with or what you left last year with. But I hope that this encourages you. Just trust that no matter where you are and no matter what's going on, you have a God that is with you. And you are, if you are patient enough to just wait on him, he will renew your strength. And so I pray that it blesses you. Amen. So where do I go now? I need thee every hour, more like every minute, more like every second. Because every second of life feels like torture. It's like being in the burning furnace. Shadrach, Meadrach, Abednego, just that this time it burns. Scolded, scarred, it hurts. Why would the shepherd leave his sheep to suffer? I thought with you as my shepherd, I would not want. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Misery, pain, depression, oppression, and failure. Or seated at my table with smiles as wide as the sky, breaking bread and dipping it into the source of my tears. I said, misery, pain, depression, oppression, and failure. Or seated at my table with smiles as wide as the sky, breaking bread and dipping into the source of my tears. Yes, yes, thou really has prepared a table before me, just that this time I'm no longer laughing. My cup no longer runs over, empty, fill me, hold me. Let me feel the warmth of your embrace like the... Like the first time a mother holds her newborn baby after nine months of conception. You're a good, good father and I'm loved by you. That's what they told me. Yet you're nowhere to be found and you couldn't care less that my tears are formed the river and I'm drowning. Left to swim in the deep end with no God while my one and only father, the life God, is nowhere to be found. Absent. Conforming to the ways of my earthly father, non-existent. Left to swim in the deep end with no God but my one and only father the life God is nowhere to be found I said let me feel the warmth of your embrace as if the sun is scorching my back as I sunbathe in your love tanned show me a new shade of your mercy love me so that I no longer question if you're really my father so that I'm sure that our DNA matches and when the results are in and they say, when it comes to 24-year-old me, you are the father. I'll leap up with joy because I'll finally have a father, one whom before I call knows my voice, before I speak knows my thoughts. Because my thoughts are running through the wilderness of my misery, throat parched and dry as I run and still I keep running towards the drugs, the guys, the fame can temporarily stop the pain and then it starts again I said I keep running towards the drugs the guys the fame can temporarily stop the pain and then it starts again and again I reach out to you when you're not there my God I said let me feel the warmth of your embrace I said the sun is scorching my back as I sunbathe in your love please my prince of peace, give me a piece of you. Or must I wait to die before I rest in peace? See, he's absent again. As silent as the grave, but the irony is they call him the living bread. But perhaps he only answers when it's too late. So today, don't you or you or you ever look at me like I'm mad when I say that I'm convinced that God isn't fair. Because if he was, then tell me how someone so loyal and faithful to his service could lose everything he had ever worked for. And I don't just mean the money, the girls, and the cars. I mean his wife and his children. And then on top, he bedridden with disease. So don't you dare look at me like I'm mad when I say that I'm convinced that God, God isn't fair. Because if he was, then tell me how a three-year-old could go through abuse. Abuse, a word she's not even old enough yet. Receive so-called lessons and examine beyond her capacity. 
I said, if he was, then tell me how. All we hear of our deaths, wars, and attacks, the guns kick back, shoot, reload, attack, pow, pow. Leaving innocent babies and children to fend for themselves. His own creation dying of helplessness, torn into pieces with no idea of when peace is coming. So don't you, don't you dare tell me that I'm mad when I say that I'm convinced that God, that God isn't fair. Because if he was, then tell me how although I serve him faithfully, nothing I ever want seems to go according to plan. Friends receiving internships to my right and to my left, yet I'm left wondering what's left of me. And every time my phone vibrates, it's unfortunately due to the volume of applications. I thought she would give me the desires of my heart. I said, if he was, then tell me. Tell me how a young man that I grown up with, a young man that I school with, with just one bang, falls down, seizure, MRI scan, biopsy next, has tissues removed from his brain cells, yet no one to hand him tissues when the tears start rolling down his face like it's been piped through a drain. Results are back, and when there's back against the wall, he gets told he has a malignant tumor, cancer, stage four yet our hopes remain high as high as the heavens are but heaven remains silent as he draws for his last breath what happened to being Jehovah Rapha mighty warrior great in battle yet he battled till he was battled lifeless, helpless, dead. And so I said, I said, if he was, then tell me. Tell me how a young man with the rest of his life ahead of him, 21 years of age, Oxford University, a man full of life and laughter, a man with a smile so bright that he could radiate the whole room, bringing warmth even to the coldest hearts, and yet diagnosed with bone cancer. And within months has his legs amputated. So if he gave his life that he may live, why was he only given six months to live? Tick. Life slowly deteriorating. Tick. Tock. Learning to live life as an amputee. Tick. Talk friends and family desperately seeking help. Tick. Talk doctors doing all they can. Tick. Talk six months later declared dead. So I said, can you tell me how? How? So you see, he's, he's not even listening. My child, I have always been there. If before the foundations of the earth I was there, then why wouldn't I be here now? But you have made other things your foundation. Concealed and blended with selfish desires and baked with lies, lashes. How many lashes did I receive for you? She had bled for you. They put nails through my hands for you. And pierced my sight for you. Can't you see how much love I have for you? I said I bled for you. They put nails through my hands for you and pierced my side for you. Can't you see how much love I have for you? So why do you doubt me? My love for you has never changed. And I know I know it doesn't make sense. 
I know the death of your loved ones doesn't make sense, but just for one moment, believe that they are better off with me than they are in pain. Just for one moment, believe that it is so that they may have rest and find relief from their labor that's in my book of revelations. Because you see, to humans, it's till death do us part, but for me, it's till death brings us closer. And I know it still doesn't make sense why it had to be your mother, your father, your brother, your sister. But if you can trust me, you can trust me that weeping lasts for the night, but joy cometh in the morning and joy is coming soon, I promise. And so today at TakeOver 2019, I want you to decide that you will no longer be moved by your seasons, situations, and sorrows. That you will worship in weakness and praise in pain. Just if you can trust me, I will give you strength. They that wait upon me shall renew their strength. They shall mount upon wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. For the joy that's coming cannot be compared ever to anything you have ever experienced. You will soar. You will soar above your situation. Above all the pains, above the heartbreak, the disappointments and failure, I said you will soar. But I just need you to trust me. Trust me and give me your whole life. Wholeness is what I seek. Trust me and wait on me just like I waited for you. Thank you.